Gilbert. Let's get on to Compas on the NFL. Ba, ba, ba. Beep. Don't, don't, don't. Gilbert, Shh. I know you were keep, like you said, you were keeping your eye on different, uh, different players, different games this weekend. Uh, what did you, what did you see? What did you hear? Yeah, I don't like how I'm going to start this, but maybe Victor will. But it's that time of year where you keep, keep keep getting your brain fed with positive notes from the summer. And everybody's in the best shape of their life. And it's a new a new chapter, new coaching staff, new players, zero, zero, whatever. But I've, maybe I've been hanging around with the Raiders too much. And the more I think about it and the more I'm watching Jimmy G operate and seeing Devontae Adams, it's just on the offensive side. I'm not going to give him praise yet on defense. But I think the Raiders have something offensively where it's just – it won't be an explosive on offense, but I'm liking that it's a balanced attack. And Josh Jacobs sounds like he'll be back before the season. No way you're going to pass him $10 million guaranteed, right? So control yeah. the ball with Josh Jacobs and Jimmy G having a fast start against the Rams. Keep in mind. And again, you know, I'm not trying to say they're going to be really good, but I, I was thinking the Rares are going to be like one of these teams are going to tank for Caleb Williams. Now I'm thinking, hey, maybe a wild card. You know that team two years ago where they uh, surprised people and they made it to the playoffs, right? And when they beat the Chargers in week 18. Uh, sorry for the reminder, Dan Diego. But th they weren't supposed to make the playoffs that year. It feels like this team might be better than that team, and maybe they hover around the seventh seed, and I'm liking, at least offensively. But then you look at the defense, it's going to be pretty bad with what they have with Ma Max Crosby. But if they're controlling the clock, you know, with kind of this old-school play style with Josh Jacobs, if he returns and Jimmy G just doing his job with Devontae Adams, maybe having Jimmy operate an offense is better than having Derek Carr fighting with Josh McDaniels. I don't know. Fernando, what do you think? I'm drinking the Kool-Aid a little bit. You're in preseason mode, bro. I am. But, but you, you don't think the offense would be better. Let's just focus on the offense. How about that? My question is, if they start off rough, one in five, one in four, Devontae's going to get antsy. He's going to want out. He's going to be like, dude, I'm, what is he, 29, almost 30 years old? But... I was thinking about it. That running back, I like that running back that they have. Not, I like their offensive line. So I think their back. offensive line is actually not bad. I just don't trust Josh McDaniels, the head coach. That's fair. And that's my thing. I can't trust him. I think that offensive line is good. I think Josh is. Josh needs to be careful right now, bro. Who's that running? They have a running back that right now is running really well. I just can't remember his name. Zamir White. The yeah, that guy. The, yeah, yeah, Zamir White. Zamir White. Yeah, but he's going to be forgotten by the time Josh Jacobs comes back. But I'm wrong. saying, okay, but could the Raiders one up and just let be like, why are we paying this guy $10.1 million when we can pay that guy? And, I mean, I know that's kind of the theme right now with running backs. The only thing is if you rescind, I bet you Josh's agent would call the Chargers, the Broncos, and the Chiefs and be like, hey, who wants him? Come get him. Yeah. Go, uh, he wants to play against uh, – he wants to play against um, – against the, uh, the Raiders twice a year. But I get it, but their defense is what worries me. And I know their defensive line is good, but the other areas are kind of what has me a little bit uh, questioning them. And I just want to see what Jimmy G is like without Kyle Shanahan in there because we didn't really see much of him when he was with Josh McDaniels in New England. Without Kyle Shanahan, what's he going to look like? So – that's my question. Like, what, what's, what's all this gonna have? Like, how long until Devontae kind of gets frustrated, and can they keep it up? I mean, you have the Denver Broncos in Week One. That defense is uh, is pretty good. You have you 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 have you're gonna face some tough competition. Um, but I understand where you're coming from, though. I mean, it might not be like you just need Jimmy to not mess up. Yeah. I guess in a sense, and he's good and at that often the playmakers a ball to create. You know? But the problem is, can is Jimmy going to be the, like, kind of like Derek Carr was with Darren Waller at the beginning, and then he kind of turned like or that with Devontae Adams yeah. last year, where he's like, F it, where's Devontae Adams, and just throw it up and, and stuff like that. So that's my question, but I understand where you're coming from, though. The offensive line is good. They have some weapons. It looks like Hunter Renfro is having a strong training camp from everything I've read. So I do believe it, but I also, that's the problem. The head coach is just, that's... That's what I can't trust, uh, and I know that they're bringing the Patriot way over, but I just don't know if uh, if that um, – I just don't know. I, I just can't trust Josh McDaniels. Yeah, and I'm not ready to fight you. I'm not at that point at all, but I just wanted to say they're on my radar, and let's just leave it at that. And let me give you a couple quick uh, 
fast items and you want to pick on something to counter. If not, we can move on. But I was forced to watch preseason football week two because there's a story at SI.com. Check it out. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, where I have all my takeaways there. Uh, I, I need to update it because there's a Monday Night Football game. But there's 15 games up there with my point of view. And I just want to say real quick, uh, maybe the Trey, Trey Lance supporters are going to tell me, ha, not so fast, Gilberto Antonio Manzano. There you go. Uh, because he had a fourth quarter game where he came back and he had some good results. Uh, I really like CJ Stroud. Uh, sorry, uh, for now, what'd you say? Oh, I just said it's preseason. Oh, yeah, I know. And it's the fourth, there's a third. <laughs> no, not game. to you, to them. No, I know, but I'm saying yeah. people would tell me that. But he did do something. Uh, but that was the fourth quarter against the third stringers. Uh, CJ Stroud, second drive. Uh, I watched that. Pretty impressive. Showed command, poise. That's a good sign for a rookie. Uh, Will Anderson Jr., the guy that gave up a first round. Yo! Pick. So maybe something Houston was right on right there. Uh, and then DTR, Victor, eat crow because Dorian uh, Thompson Robinson from the Browns is doing well. But again, it's preseason. I'd love to see that kid become like a Cordell Stewart or or an Antoine Randall L, something like that. Like do something like if you can't find your, uh, your way on the field as a quarterback, because it's going to be tough. I mean, but that's another team. The Browns are another team that I'm kind of, I'm like, their ceiling could be, holy crap, like they take over that division. They're, uh, like their bottom tier could be, they could only win three or four games and then they end up in the Caleb Williams. Uh, uh, well, I mean, well, could they the end Sean up in the Caleb... gave him the entire contract. Yeah, game. no, you guaranteed his whole contract. So hey, but Mar- gonna... Marvin Harrison Jr. is out there, so. But is that, like, would you... Okay, no, my, if you're Marvin Harrison Jr.'s agent, would you want him to go into that mess? Like, that would be crazy. Yeah, but but I'm, I'm glad you, you, st- you stopped on Cleveland because they do have a very talented roster, and, but I don't know how to feel about them. That's what that's what I'm saying. Like, there's like the Raiders are a team that I don't know how to feel about. The Browns are another team I don't know how to feel about. There's certain teams that uh, I, don't, I don't know how to feel about. But obviously, we'll get into that when we get closer to the season. Um, but, yeah, no, I agree with you. By the way, did you see uh, – uh, Trevor Penning against Tuli. Yeah, he... you got it. You got it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did you see? That was a nice. That yeah. not a lot of even veteran pass rushers don't really do that whole swim move thing. I was really impressed, especially because Trevor Penning was a a first round draft pick last year. Yeah, he went to work on him a couple of times. I saw that. Yeah, so I, I thought that was pretty impressive. Just because I guess the swim move was kind of like not a lot of people do it as much. Like they don't do it as much as they used to. Because obviously, like uh, an offensive lineman can go up and and Dan and Dago would know more, but you get a kid hit in the ribs and and they could do the other stuff. But I thought I I actually found that move very impress imp- impressing, and I was like, wow, okay. I was like, that's uh that was pretty impressive. But yeah, no, I, I'm with you. I, I was impressed by Will Anderson and and Gilbert. I keep on telling you, I think um, the Arizona Cardinals are going to go two for one next year. They're going to get. Uh, Caleb Williams, and they're gonna get uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm not gonna uh, go off of that, but no, have um, Houston to thank. But if, if but if Will Anderson Jr. is playing like a stud, you know, outside yeah. linebacker, then maybe you don't think about it twice. But we'll see. No, 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 one hundred. I completely agree with you. The only thing is, like, can you imagine if they go three for three and next year they try and jump up back in and just get Marvin Harrison Jr. for C.J. Stroud? But I mean, obviously, that's. Nice. Way into the future. 